Tonight we continue our series highlighting places and stories around Colorado that are significant to black history. And this time I'm taking you to Pueblo where two very different but very important preservation efforts are underway. You know, this has a lot of historical significance to Pueblo, the original woodwork. People locally more know it for the fact that it was a national anthem's vacation. It was filmed here. In this 1940s Pueblo, Colorado motel, lies a piece of 1983 nostalgia. National Lampoon history is fun, but Coronado Motel holds much more significance for a different kind of road trip. It was listed in the Green Book, and it is has a hit, unique history as a place that allowed African Americans to stay. Pueblo historian Corrine Kaler has researched Coronado Motel for years. You can tell by the old car there. And says the Green Book, a segregation era travel guide for black Americans that outlined safe and welcoming places to stay, featured this very place. But there were several places in Pueblo that they could stay, but most of them were houses. I can imagine after traveling across the state of Colorado for hours, you finally come upon Coronado Motel or Coronado Lodge, as it was called back yes. then, what a relief that might be. Right, and a lot of times um, they, you know, you know, if they had to go to the bathroom, they would um, have to stop alongside the road because gas stations would not allow them to use the uh, restrooms. Um, so it was very difficult. The same owners ran the motel for decades, but eventually sold it to Joe Concilia and his brother. I think it was pretty much passed over by probably a lot of other investors because, um, you know, it was a little gritty. But that's kind of what my brothers and I are interested in. The brothers are working on updating the property while also maintaining its historic integrity. We actually went down to Santa Fe and sourced some Mexican tile down there. Coronado Motel is officially on the National Register of Historic Places, but elsewhere in Pueblo. When you were forced out of the building, how did you feel about that? What was that like for you? Well, it was very, very hard. Another historic building ran out of time. My name is Ray Brown. I'm the president of the Pueblo Dr. Martin Luther King Holiday Commission. Uh, we're sitting inside of the uh, old Lincoln home. The Lincoln home was a senior living facility and orphanage for black Coloradans from 1914 to 1963. It didn't act as an orphanage in, in a full sense of the word. It was a place where uh, parents could bring their kids, leave them here for a week uh, or for the work week and then pick them up for the weekend and take them home. When Lincoln Home closed, community leader Dr. Ruth Steele bought the building and turned it into a museum. She was a collector of everything. It was absolutely wonderful. Uh, it was not just uh, history about the orphanage, but it was also history uh, about the African American experience. But a few years ago, when the museum lost its nonprofit status and taxes started to add up, a new owner, the Friendly Harbor, a mental health center, took over. And almost everything that was once here is now inside Ray's storage unit. I've set up different uh, displays in different places. Uh, the Pueblo Heritage Museum has a display of the old Lincoln home. I wanted to start a, a separate museum uh, dealing with African American history, uh, the heritage of the African Americans in Pueblo. Brown says seeing what's happening to places like Coronado Motel gives them hope. We are trying to reestablish our 501c3 status, and I hope that we're able to get that successfully accomplished so that we can open some doors to funding. Which would allow the Lincoln home to exist beyond the historic marker and bring those artifacts that bring its history to life out from behind a locked door. Brown says black history is American history and we'll be telling these stories and histories all month long throughout our newscast. In the next part of this specific series, I'll take you to Fort Collins. So join us again next Thursday at 5 p.m. We'll be right back.